Tonight, we come to the Oscars of the food world. This is indeed the Academy Awards of the food world. Such an exciting night in New York. It's the 21st annual James Beard Awards. Also the 25th birthday for the foundation. So a lot of occasions being celebrated tonight. We're gonna check in with everyone from Wolfgang Puck to Jacques Pepin to food and wine editor Dana Cowan about their thoughts about how this whole food world has changed over those 21 years. And also some trends that they see on the culinary horizon to watch for in your hometown. And are you pulling for anybody tonight to win? For me. <laughs> for yourself? Yeah. It was this tiny little group, and today, look at it. It's in the Lincoln Center here, the Avery Fisher Hall. So it's quite a change. I'm just, I'm so happy to see that next generation of young, of young culinarians in our country uh, be so committed and dedicated to the craft of cooking and, and, and really to, to the craft of, of running a restaurant. The Beard Foundation and the people who are finding the talent have uncovered people that America needs to know about. In this 21 years, we have seen such a major revolution in food in the United States that there is constantly newcomers coming in doing amazing things that actually keep me on my toes, I can tell you that. I feel like as a newcomer to the category, I told my staff, like, let's act like we belong even though we just got here. So now it's the lifetime achievement of what I think that's probably the end of it. So I don't know if they're going to invite me again. Uh, no, you're, you're going to be an honored guest maybe forever. We find something new maybe one day. What are you seeing in the fine dining scene that you think Americans, a lot of course happens here in New York first and then kind of trickles out. What are some of the trends that you're seeing? The chefs of old were inspired by Italy and France. And what we're seeing today is inspiration coming from Southeast Asia, either in the openings that we see, the really exciting openings, or the next pop-up, which is these night markets. It's not just one trend that people are following, but many trends because we have now educated the American public to enjoy food at all levels. On a sad note, we did see Korean barbecue tacos at TGI Fridays. Isn't that kind of weak? Like, all right, they're not cool anymore. Friday serves them. Someone told me the other night that 80% of all Americans will at one point work in their lifetime in the restaurant and hospitality industry. There's no other industry like that. The winner is... The Beard Award goes to... The winner is... Tom Douglas, Tom Douglas Restaurant Seattle. Mindy Siegel, Mindy's Hot Chocolate, Chicago. Daniel Holm, 11 Madison Park. So the awards have wrapped, which means it's time for the party. We are on the terrace here at Avery Fisher Hall, where lots of New Yorkers have big, big smiles on their faces for their friends at La Grande Oui, winner for Outstanding Service, which it certainly deserves. Daniel Hum won for Outstanding Chef at 11 Madison Park, one of my favorite restaurants. Jim Meehan, a PDT, won for Outstanding Bar Program. Momofuku Milk Bars, Christina Tozzi, won for Rising Star Chef of the Year. And honors for Best Chef New York City went to Michael Anthony of Gramercy Tavern. This has been a great night for New York, as it always is. We hope you enjoyed our coverage, and we'll see you next time on New York Insider TV, the place where we bring you a taste of life on the inside. One last question. The gala afterwards, do you yep. expect to find any bizarre foods? No, I'm, it's hard enough at that thing. It's so crowded to just find any food. I mean, it's all around you, but you have to fight through the crowd. This year, I'm going to get a lot more aggressive. Well, let us know how you do. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, I bet they have some up there. Yo, we need a cookie stat. <laughs> for you, that might work. It wouldn't work for me. <laughs> I tried. <laughs>